If you've just bought the GoPro Max in this video, I want to give you 20 tips and tricks to help you get the most from it. But it won't just be me delivering these tips. I have a special guest on this video and it's an honor to be delivering these tips with Mick from 360 Rumors. Over to you, Mick. Hey Rich, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for having me on your show. Yeah, I love the GoPro Max too. It's one of my favorite 360 cameras. Let's get started. An easy way to control your GoPro Max hands-free is to use the voice control to turn it on swipe down on the main screen and look for that icon that on the left it looks like a head and then tap on that now with voice command you can control your gopro max wirelessly gopro start recording gopro stop recording the other way to take a hands-free 360 selfie is to select the self timer. Once you've selected the self timer, the GoPro will take a photo either 3 seconds or 10 seconds after you press the shutter button. So first, make sure you're in 360 mode. Swipe right on the screen to 360 photo and then select the timer icon on the left. Choose between 3 second and 10 second timer, hit the record button and then strike a pose. Do you like using your GoPro Max on the helmet? Just attach the helmet. The helmet looks split but you can fix that by simply tilting this forward like this or backward like that that way the stitch line is not on the helmet Another mounting tip for the GoPro Max is to experiment with using these GoPro mount extension arms. The extension arms will give you a more effective floating camera shot and they'll also allow you to experiment with the camera at different angles. The extension arms can be used on various mounts including a handlebar mount, a wrist mount, chest mount or a helmet mount. I like using my GoPro Max for vlogging too. And sometimes when you're talking to the camera you don't need all those angles. So you can save a lot of time and editing effort by using the non 360 hero mode from the main screen tap on the globe icon to turn on the non 360 hero mode with the hero non 360 mode you can choose which lens to record from and you can also control the direction of the microphone whether it's the front lens or the rear lens and you'll be able to use it even sideways or even upside down if you want to have more control of your shots and get the best from your gopro max images then you can use pro tunes with ProTunes, you can adjust the camera's white balance, ISO, color capture mode, and also exposure value compensation and sharpness. You can also select ProTunes neutral color capture, ProTune flat. And with this, you get more details in the shadows and the highlights. Remember that if you choose to use the ProTune flat image, that the image will look flat and dull and colorless until you edit it. So if editing is something that you don't want to do, then don't choose the flat option. Do you want an easier way to remove the micro SD card from your GoPro Max? Here's how. So I use either a micro SD card or a micro SD card adapter. So you can use either one to push in the micro SD card in your GoPro Max. If your GoPro Max screen ever freezes and you want to return back to the main camera screen, simply press the mode button to exit. One of the cool features of the GoPro Max are the shortcut keys. For each shooting mode, you can assign two shortcut keys, here and here. To assign them, tap on the mode button, tap on the pencil, then scroll down to the bottom. Then you'll see the option to customize your upper left or upper right. If you want to see the shortcut keys that I use, check out the link in the description below. When you're editing on the GoPro app, if you ever want to take a photo from your video, then all you need to do is press this icon here. Once you've pressed this icon, then select Save Frame at the top of the screen, and then it will save the photo to your app's gallery. Now, did you know that you can use your GoPro Max for really long time lapses, even hours long? And the trick is to use an external power bank. Just attach it to your GoPro Max using a Type-C cable. When you're connected to a power bank, you can remove the GoPro Max battery to avoid overheating. When you're charging the GoPro Max battery in the camera via the cable, or when you're using a portable power bank in the camera, the GoPro door sticks right out and gets in the way and it's a real pain. But you can simply remove it by opening the door fully and then gently twisting to one side and pulling the door off. And then to put the door back on, position it at a 90 degree angle to the camera and slot it into place and there you go. 
Just as a quick extra tip, when you put your thumb screw on the camera, make sure the thumb screw is positioned the opposite side of your battery door, because otherwise you just won't be able to open it. Here's a tip for saving a little bit of money. If you want a charger for your GoPro Max, you don't need to get a dedicated GoPro Max charger. Instead, you can just use a charger for a GoPro Hero battery, like this. Most chargers for the GoPro Hero will also work for the GoPro Max battery. Mick has already talked about using the portable power bank for long time lapses, but I just want to reiterate how important this bit of kit is just for general shooting. The power bank will just help you to keep shooting longer. While you're on a break or when you're traveling to a different location, you can charge the camera's battery by plugging in the portable power bank. The really cool thing is if you've got a spare battery, you can use the portable power bank to charge the spare battery by plugging it into the charger. So you can charge up a battery whilst you carry on filming. And if you want to create videos that look like they were shot with a drone, all you need is the GoPro Max and an extended selfie stick like this. Here's a tip. When you're using the extended selfie stick, it's going to droop a little bit from the weight of the GoPro Max. So make sure to keep the GoPro Max vertical like this. That way when it droops down, it remains the, the selfie stick will remain within the stitch line and it will be invisible. Remember that once you've shot some clips and you want to start editing them in the GoPro app, you first have to download them to your phone by pressing this icon here. Once you've pressed the icon, it will then download the clip to your GoPro gallery. And if you want to edit multiple clips together, they can't be 360 clips. Once you've reframed them and exported them as standard GoPro clips, you can then import them into GoPro Stories and edit multiple clips together. Do you want to learn the easiest way to convert your 360 videos into a non-360 video? Here's how. Launch the GoPro app, tap on the video that you want to edit, tap it again to bring it up, then tap on this circle with the diamond in the middle to begin keyframing. Now instead of keyframing, we can use the over capture feature. On the upper right corner, tap on those three dots and tap on over capture. Now that over capture is activated, we can use the phone as a virtual camera. Here's how I do it. I like to hold the camera with both of my hands and place both of my thumbs on the screen. That will let me zoom in or out by using my thumbs. I can also control the roll using my thumbs. Now we tap on this circle to begin the over capture video. Using over capture to create reframe videos can make your non 360 video look more natural. If you prefer to edit your clips on a desktop then you can use the GoPro reframe plugin to edit your clips with Adobe Premiere. You'll have to convert your files first using GoPro Player if you have a Mac or GoPro Exporter if you have a PC. One extra tip when using GoPro Exporter, if it unexpectedly crashes then check that you've got enough hard drive space on your PC. Once you unpack the 360 GoPro clips ready to import into Premiere, the clips are huge an exporter will crash with no warning at all and it's usually a result of lack of hard drive space or it certainly was in my case and if you want to make sure never to miss the shot turn on the quick capture feature here's how from the main screen swipe down to reveal the preferences look for the rabbit icon and then make sure it's activated now once quick capture is active and you want to begin recording just press the shutter it's automatically going to turn on the camera and begin recording and when you stop recording, it will automatically turn off the camera. If you want to capture shorter clips for social media, or if you just want your clips to be shorter for ease of storage and ease of editing generally, then you can use clip mode. Clip mode restricts your clip length to either 15 seconds or 30 seconds, so when you press the shutter button, it will only record for that amount of time. So select 360 video here, and then press the pencil icon turn on clip mode and select between 15 seconds and 30 seconds. And when you press record, a red line appears around the screen to give you an indication of how long you have left before the recording finishes. So that's it. And I'd like to thank Mick once again for helping me out in this video. Thanks, Mick. Thanks again, Rich. And I'll see you in 360. If you have any of your own shooting or editing tips with the GoPro Max, please share them in the comments below. For more 360 hints, tips and tutorials, please remember to subscribe to Mick's channel at 360 Rumours. And also, please remember to subscribe to my channel here at Eat Sleep 360. And I'll see you on the next video.